guys it's rachel here and we are going to work on this journal uh here's the other one it's all dry and really glued really well and i'm loving it and it's not going the pages aren't going anywhere so there's fun things to do in here now so that one's ready to start working in so when i opened this actually it was um so i had i glued it with these down and I had mentioned that um, the other option was to just have your glue in here and leave these and then and then close it up like that and clip it so there's a bit more pressure on here. But actually this glued perfectly well. So I tried that method with the other one. I can't show you now because it's uh, I've glued this now and they're drying with this open. Um, so what I found was because I put a lot of glue obviously in the spine, which is important in the spine area, um, it oozed into here and then I was having trouble opening it. Um, and so then I had to tear these up in the other book because I wanted to glue it properly and it was really, really tough. So that tells me um, that my PVA glue is very good. It's, these pages aren't going anywhere. Um, so my preferred method is this method where you glue it all in flat. Um, just clip those together like that. Just run your fingers over it multiple times to make sure it's stuck into the spine and then um and and let it dry open with it all glued and then this was a little bit stiff so i had to sort of jiggle you have to jiggle it a little bit um sort of go like this slowly just to make it sort of loosen because the glue obviously makes it stiff and it probably take a while for it to start to sit but it is starting to sit nicely now so just i wanted to talk to you about that um as i said the other one is drying because I've glued the little flappy bits and I thought I'd work in this one because this journal is a bigger, this book page is a uh, book page, book, book is bigger. So it's seven by 10. So it's a bigger format um, and the spine is about one and a half inches. So it's okay for three, um, three uh, signatures. Now I was thinking I was going to do a floating spine in this one, but I've changed my mind. I think I, it's kind of flat enough, this spine. I feel like I can just glue it into there. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I did my drawing on there. Um, now someone did ask, clever, good question, not clever question, good question. Um, how do I decide do I, when, when do I want to glue it in to the spine or when do I just want to glue it like that? And have it floating so there's the gap there when you've got a really really curved spine now i could do it with this one it's curved enough but i actually feel like it's going to sit nicely all the same even though there's a bit of a curve there it's actually going to sit quite nicely when i've glued it in so i'm going to glue it right into the spine so really it's the curviness of the spine of the original spine which determines if i'm going to do a floating spine or not so if it's a deep curve I'm going to do a floating because um, otherwise I'm going to be gluing it right in there and then I'm going to have a big ridge here and then like that. And so then the pages are going to have that ridge as well, where this is just going to be a slight ridge. It's not going to be a huge one. So I prefer it to do it that way because I like it. It's very, it's very secure, even though I have seen that my glue glues very well. Now, that's enough chitter chatter. The reason why I wanted to do this um, work on this one with you guys is because... Um, I'm going to use vertical pages because obviously if I do um, one of my regular um, A4, minor A4, um, look how small they are in the journal. And it's no problem. You can have some like that and I may insert some. I think, in fact, I think I will. But um, it is also nice to have ones that are the full size. So obviously because um, this one I'm going to cut down uh, to the height of the book, I'm probably going to be careful about what I choose. I'm going to keep the gentleman because I don't want to, you know, chop him off. And I'm just going to cut this one off. Or the other option is, I'm just going to do a little fold there so I can see the height, is you can fold it up that way and see that could be a nice pocket even though it's upside down i'll probably put something on there like some book page or something and then that can be a pocket so i'm not going to cut that one off and then i'm going to fold it here a little bit further in than what i think because you know they 
they do stick out when you start to put the pages in. And that's going to attach to something else. So this is kind of like a video. What do you do when you have a larger format book? And it's, it's bigger than your printable pages. So what do we do? We use vertical pages. Yep, that's going to go there. So I'll go, and then I've got all of these here as well that I already pulled out, but I'm going to need some more. I don't think I have enough here. Now, I'm not going to do them all like that. Like this one, I'm going to take the top off. Um, let me measure how much that is, because then I can just do it without um, having to measure in my book. So let's get the cutter over. Grab my, where did, now where did my ruler go? Oh, good goodness gracious me. I just didn't I just have it and show you a measurement guys oh here it is I did it's here no panic so I'm going to chop off one and one and three quarter inches for this particular book off this off my a4 paper your paper will be different if it's um you know the u.s paper what's it called legal legal paper I need to go that way actually because I want to keep the top the bottom two and three quarters I said and then I'll get a nice strip there that I can use I'm not concerned about chopping off the plant isn't that just just beautiful I just love that and there is my did I oh I chopped off too much doesn't matter I'll stagger that page what a ding dong oh my word anyway I want this I want to see that page oh and I've done that page twice doesn't matter I'll just make sure I put them in two different signatures. So that one I chopped off too much. So it's not two and three quarters. I can't read my inches, guys. Oh, one and three quarters. Hello, one and three quarters. Okay, I'll get my act together in a minute. One and three quarters. Okay, this, so this way I'm going to chop. I don't want to chop the bird's head off. So I'll go this way. And it's one and three quarters. There we go. This one's going to be right. And that can come off. I thought that was a nice big piece there. Oops. And according to my design, so I think I'll have that where I can see it. Just a minute. Put those over there. It does become a fiddly business. I'm just going to put a crease there. I feel like I've got... Oh, that's the... I see, that's the... There's one deck. I felt like I've got that border already. It's this one. It's this see, that's the decorated version and the non-decorated version. Okay, so again, one and three quarters off. I have to say it to myself continually, continually, because I cannot, I won't remember. I'll mess up again. Actually, this could be a good one to do the pocket. Excuse me, we'll have another pocket. Decisions are the worst. I'm just going to eyeball it about there. Does that look about right? Yes, it does. And then I will grab this and this one will fold like so. Here we go. Now they do have to be hinged. I will snip out this bit here so I don't have to worry about it later. So how is everyone today? So as I said, very late video because um, actually today is Wednesday. I've done... I had a video that I did yesterday and I forgot to post it yesterday. So I posted it this morning, which was still yesterday in America. Isn't that confusing? And in Australia, it was well and truly the 27th. Um, so I posted it this morning and now I'm doing this video because I came in here to work on this and, um, and I thought I really should share this process of working in this journal. Oh, I love all the bits that come off. I just love them. Right, now that one. I don't want to have all my folds. I don't want all my folds on the same side. I want some to go that way. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter, but yes, I want. So I'm going to have that one there and fold that one over there. Does that make sense, guys? Even though they're going to be hinged. And I may hinge them to other journal paper, like, you know, printed out papers. It, I'm not sure. Again, I'm going to chop the top off this one because I don't like I like the flowers and I can afford to lose a little bit off the top. One and three quarters. 
certainly getting some lovely scraps to play with. And I'm thinking this is going to be super pretty hinged on this way, this way. Okay, that's that way. Now what will I lose here? I think I'll lose the top again. Okay, yep, yeah. oh, just love it. And that one I folded that way, so this one will fold. Can I work it out? It's not always working easy working things out. Okay. And here I'm going to lose the top, even though I'm going to lose some of that flower. It don't matter. It's very dark outside. I might put my blind down. You can listen to that happening. There we go. Can you hear that, guys? It's automatic. Clever husband. Well, we had the ones that you pull up. You pull the rope and they was a, like not a rope. It was a funny, it was a thing. I don't know what you call it. Of course, it was a thing. Um, you pulled it up. I might fold that one that way. Um, it, you pulled it up and, um, and the blind went up and then you'd pull it out of the wall like this and then release it and the blind would go down. Well, those, those special, they were those flat um, synthetic cordy things. Now, I really like the right, oh, I don't want to lose that at the bottom either, do I? I have to lose the top. Um, they were, yeah, I mean, ours were old and they were, the, they were continually fraying and, and breaking these, these cord, cordy things. And, um, and Stefano was continually having to, um, like there was a big box at the top of the, the window or and all the doors and you and that's where it all roll into and Steph would have to get up there and pull it all out and and um, it would cause his allergies to spark up and I think I'm going to fold up the bottom so at least we've got three of those done so one in each signature and uh, it was just a continual problem it was really really a huge problem and now he's automated them we we'll probably have end up when they get become older end up having other problems but anyway um it's just wonderful and it's not i mean it was pretty tiring too pulling up those heavy blinds because they were they were pretty big and heavy and um so anyway now they're all ordered and we've got a general button too um out in the hallway uh near the near the entry not far from the entry where you can just press there's a general button and it closes all of the blinds in all of the house. So sort of when you're going out, you don't have to go round to all the rooms and um, close all the blinds, which is great. And we've also got, a, a, he has a, a button. I'm sure a lot of you are automated, um, but he has a button as well that turns out all the lights. So that's fantastic. When you go out, you don't have to go out and turn, go around to all the rooms and see what lights are left on. So I'm very pleased with this system. It's very nice. In fact, sometimes we sort of sit in our renovated place and we can't believe that we we managed to do it because honestly, we were kind of living, not in a dump. I wouldn't say a dump, we're lucky to have a home, but it was, um, I'm gonna lose the bottom on this one because um, I wanna keep the butterfly. Um, it was really old and falling apart and cold and, um, yeah, lots of, you know, there were rusted pipes and the toilet seat didn't didn't work like it, it continued to break and Lulu and I would get pinched when we sat down to go to the loo and would pinch our bot bots and and then um and then what else would happen? Oh, and it also you were at great risk of flying off off the toilet too when you sat on it. And um we did get to the point that we didn't invite many people over for dinners anymore because I had all of my um, we didn't have any great storage or anything and I had all of my um, you know books and supplies extra supplies that I make kits and things with it was all in boxes plastic boxes and cardboard boxes in the hallway when you walked in so it wasn't a great a great thing um, so we just sort of sometimes we're sitting on our couch now and our sofa and we're just like oh 
we can't believe it we just we just can't believe it so we feel very lucky although we did work hard to be able to do it um but we do feel like we're very lucky very lucky people so i don't know if i want other digital other things in here yet um I don't, I'm just not quite sure. I've got these. Now, these are way too big. So, I need to trim these down. So, what I will do is put a mark in. I'll do... Um, where's, my, where's my pen? Over here. I sound like my, my aunt would say something like that. She'd, and she'd say it in such a funny way that she'd crack us all up. So, I've got those sorts of pockets. I don't want to have 10 million... Um, folded up pocket so we'll trim that off let's just well I only marked the top one didn't I so I'll just sometimes I don't know if my brain functions it's just because a million thoughts go through at once and then you've got to gather the thoughts I'm me I'm lining up my you can't see because you I've gone off screen because I put that there um, I lined up my the fold on there because um, then that way I can straighten that if I need to. But I'm thinking I might fold it in. I think I'll fold it in. So, oh, how much did I trim off? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, two inches. There we go. That's good. I have that many strips now. I can do so many envelopes. This is not folded very well. Not at all. Two inches. Folded poorly. Do you know what I can do? I can go like this. Put this in here and just trim off the crooked. There we go. None the wiser. So that's that one. Let's see how we're going. We've got those. And they're going to fold in. That one's slightly different. Doesn't matter. We've got to hinge those. There's my book one of those I've got this now <clears throat> I wanted to hinge these as well one in each signature now I could hinge them on there oh that's almost perfect however I well three yes I could do three but I might hinge them onto here yes I'm going to hinge it on there so let's see how wide how wide the width is almost perfect the width is pretty good it could it could come out when I put it in the signatures however we will see and I'll put it on there and then I'll glue this I'm just going to do the actually I'm going to put a crease so some, my steffi has gone over to his mum's he's actually on holidays for two weeks now he's gone over to his mum's because something was happening with her phone much that my in-laws are are technologically challenged my my mother-in-law is a well, academically a super intelligent person but for technology it's not her thing and so when any any of it, anything happens with the telephone it's total panic stations and um and steph is called and it's like oh my gosh what's happened and it's it's something with the telephone both of them they're hilarious and um and so um we tell them you don't need it's intuitive don't worry about it it's not like you know if there's a little dot on something it means you've got a notification and it might and you quite often it's nothing important but anyway so they weren't um obviously and i don't do it either very often but they weren't updating their telephones you know doing the yeah the updates whatever you call them and so um i don't know something happened to her email she wasn't it blocked and so she was in the panic she came over last night and um and um had to step had to sort of do the updates and then oh that one broke i wanted to include that one so i will i won't worry about that um so he she came over and he he did the updates for her and um and then had to reset the phone well i don't know what's happened but she saved some of the contacts in the wrong spot you know there's one of those spots in the phone i don't know whether you're meant to save them not meant to save them on your sim or on your sim i can't remember you're not meant to save them on your sim i think i think that's it because if you lose your sim then you then you um you're meant to save them somewhere else in the cloud or somewhere i don't know 
Anyway, she didn't do it, do it. Something happened and she's lost some contacts. So Steph went over there to try and see and have a look and everything and had to bring the phone back because also they don't have internet at their place. Um, they were going to get the internet and then I don't know, the telecom people came and there was some issue and then that didn't go, they didn't go through with it. Um, so they just have the internet on their telephones. And, oh, that's a good one. And anyway, he's, he had to bring it back. And anyway, yes, the contacts are lost. So, I don't know. I think they'll be there. He'll be there a while. Oh, my goodness. And I've just had a thought. We've got fish to bake in the oven. And I don't do that. He does that. Oh, we'll have to have dinner late. We don't usually have late dinners. It's not part of our wellness program. Is having we're meant to have earlier dinners. I might have to stop the video and go and, and look into that. What's the time? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put this bodgy ripped piece on on there and see what happens. No, you know what? I might put and I might trim that bit off there. I think I'm going to glue it to here. This is one of the um, worm pages, but they're nice rag paper. And I don't want to throw them out because they're very old. Early 1700s, these ones. So, I'm going to put my glue there. Oh, don't want blobs. Blobs are not what we want. And this will be a... Sh Actually, I could fold that up. This is how my brain works. I think, oh, I've got to trim that off. And then I think, then something pops into my head. I could fold that up. We'll have a look in a minute. We'll see. Oy. Okay, so that's glued on there. I'm going to trim off, at least trim off this bit. I think this is going to be a good fold up. It has a tear in it, but I'm not too concerned about it. This would fold over to reinforce, and that will fold up. And that will become a pocket. And this is a shorter page, but that's okay. We can have shorter pages. I'll check their width in a minute. I haven't hinged anything to those yet. I just wanted to deal with these other pages first. Um, that's also pages that... So these are kind of good to go, these ones. I need to hinge that with something. Um, what do I have here? How many? I've got three. Okay. I hinge that one too. Trying to see what I have here. That could be a hingy, good hinging moment. I kind of want something longer. Let me just grab this. Oh, here's a nice. Oh, well, now what is that? It's a bit colourful, isn't it? I don't know if that's a mould or. Oh. I might keep that. I've, I've got something to share with you. I'm waiting for something else to arrive and then I'll share something with you. And we will see if it works. So let me find another piece. What about a piece of this? It's ripped. Oh, it's not in a good way, is it? But I can, I can cover the rippage. So I'm going to fold that over. And I'm going to hinge this on there. Yes, I am. Oh, he's back. He's back. I may need to pause the video and go and have a chat to him about the din din. I don't know how long the fishies take to cook. As I said, it's not my thing. It's not my favourite thing in the world. Lulu's working today. She's She's um, she's a bit. She likes shopping with her friends. So I said to her, if you like shopping with your friends, you need to earn yourself a little bit of money because you're going to deplete your account. You can't just keep spending and have it all going out and nothing coming in. So she's working. She's doing some fabric packs. I like it when she does the fabric packs because she has a different eye to me. Now I'm just going to fold that in because I don't know. I know it's grungy, but it's such beautiful paper. I just don't know if I'm going to take it off or not, so I'm just going to do that for now. 
Okay, so that's done. That's those. Then I've got to find some bigger book pages. And now I need to hinge these. So let's see. What will we choose? Um, well, one could be one of these. I could glue that onto there. So what I might do is just show you some examples and we'll do it and I'll, I'll do it. This one, I think I'm gonna punch it. I'm gonna punch that and then glue it on there. And that's gonna be my hinged page. So I'll just, we'll just go through the pages, see what I'm gonna hinge. I think this one's gonna be good. There is a reason why it was trimmed down. Again, I'm gonna punch that one and glue that on there. That's gonna be lovely. And then here. Now that, it's quite strong paper. That could actually, one, one could be a pocket. I'd like to find, I do have somewhere, oh, you know what I've got? What about some old ephemera? Let me see what I have in here. I've got things piled on top. I'll have to stretch myself. Just a minute. I've got some down here, I think. Yes, let's see what's here. Now that is fragile paper. I don't think I'll do it with, that's all very fragile. Um, something tallish, that's pretty. Something like that. These are all very tall. Oh, these are good. Let's pull out some of these. We'll do a couple of these. Here's an old, oh, that's an old document. I don't, I might hinge that one. That'll do. Okay, I'll keep these up because we might use these again. That is so pretty. I kind of feel bad covering that up, so I don't know that I'll do it like that. We'll just see. This one I can do. I'm going to hinge that one on there, and I'm actually just going to fold that up, and it will flip down, and I'll fold that in. I won't be trimming any of that off, and I'm going to punch it because I think the punching is really pretty. This was... Is this one shorter? Oh, no, it's similar. Let's see. I could attach that one there. I think I will, and I'll punch that so you will catch a little bit of that, but you're not losing too much. So that one's going to be glued on there. Yep, these are good things to use because one side is empty and the other side isn't. So I'll put that on there. Sometimes they're pencil marks. I'll rub that out. They're counting the number of pages or documents and things like that. This might have been document number three or something. Um, and no, that's one that's more fragile. I could do this one. It's got some yucky bits, so I might choose the bits that are nicer and I'll trim those off. That I'm going to fold up and glue. And that bit there, I'm going to take off because I don't like it. Okay. See, I do need lots of stuff here. I'm not going to use that one, but I don't want to fill it all with the same thing. So let me find what else I might put in. Now, I have scanned this. Yeah, I think we, we scanned this the other day. This is one of the 1600s books. The date has come off, come off because it um, was damaged, but I think I'm gonna glue that on there. And I will have to, I'm gonna fold it up like that. And it's just gonna be a fold down so you get, and it's original. So this one's getting this original page. I do need to start using the the things that I've scanned because um, they, you know, like I've got a collection of them. And I want to start putting them in journals that I make. I have this lovely Florentine paper. I think that will be hinged on there. And I may or may not fold it up. So just showing you the variety of pages. This one, I'd, you know what I'd like is just a plain um, piece of, what about this book page? This is a good book page. Oh, and it's the perfect height. Let's see. And I haven't been able to pull them out sort of in good state. 
combined. So I think I'll put that on there. And I think I'll do another one of those because I like those. And they're kind of, um, these were late. These were, I think this book was 1836 or 1840. It's a rag paper, but it's the later. It's towards the end because I noticed um, after, I told you before, after about the 1840s. And this is not from, because I'm an expert, this is just from observing, observation, that the sort of, um, the rag paper um, did... This is what I was looking for the other day. I couldn't find it. Um, that's going to go on one. I like those title pages. Um, the rag paper did sort of, I didn't find rag paper in books after around 1840. Or if I did very rarely, no, I didn't. I haven't, I don't think I have any books after that time that had um, rag paper in it. So for anyone who doesn't know, rag paper, oh, this is stunning. This is going to go in. I've been hoarding these. I just love them. It's the, some, some sort of, they call them the Ordine de l'Architectura. So they're all the different, um, what do you call those in English? Capitelli. Capito in French. This is French. So that one's going to go there. It'll be trimmed down and whatever. So that, that's going to go in as well. So... That is what I'm going to do with these. Maybe I'll glue down one or a couple just to show you. I'm not going to punch all of them. And some of them may even be folded and become a pocket. So I'm just, this is just going to be a normal, regular one. I don't want to push myself out, out of off screen. So I'm going to put plenty of um, glue here as far to the center as I can where the fold is and I don't know which way is the up that way I don't want I'm not going to glue it there because I don't want to cover over the imagery so I'm going to glue it here just put it sort of almost flush to the center where the fold is almost flush not quite and then just glue it down and you instantly have bigger page. Now I need to get my book, which is buried under all the papers, and just see how I'm going. And again, this is something I will not cut off. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to fold this, because it's a thinner paper, even though I feel like it's strong, I'm going to fold that over, and I'll probably trim off those lumpy bits, and I'll just glue that down. And that will be make it stronger just in case I want to put a pocket or something there. And then this is just going to fold up like so to there. And you will simply, I'll cut that off I think, simply pull it down to see the full imagery. So here I'm just going to cut this off, this bit here. Helps if you take off the other bits off your scissors. Just with on either side of the line down to the where that where the fold meets there like that. That's gonna just fold up and that's gonna be glued down. And I will run my scissors along here just to get rid of the the lumpy bits. So I also haven't answered the comment yet, but I did see a comment I um, that you know. Yeah, a nice comment, just that you can search for a book that you're, you know, happy to pull apart. I totally agree. Um, I do. I'm just lucky because I live here and I have dealers that put books aside and I've told them I don't mind if the books are, you know, I don't want, I, I have received some very um, moldy ones that I haven't but really been able to save. Um, but mostly they're pretty good with me, what they, what they put aside for me. I'm going to keep that. I may run my scissors there. there's a bit of glue we don't want glue um and so I do have a multitude of books that I am happy to tear up I have plenty that um I hang on to but I tell you what if I hang on for to them for too long and they're not being looked at something might happen to them that's all I can tell you and I'll put something there to reinforce that now this one I feel like 
cotton's going to be very pretty if it's punched. I don't know why, it's just a feeling. There's no reason that I could tell you why I want to punch this particular one. I just feel like I want to punch it. So here I go. So um, I, Sharon, Sharon Hearth, I'm talking to you. I watched your wonderful video. In fact, I need to go and comment because I watched it here on my computer and I have all stuff in front of me, so it's hard for me to write comments when I'm watching. Um, but anyway, I watched Sharon Hearth's um, room tour. I'll tell you what, I don't have many. I'm not, I'm not really envious of anyone, but I'll tell you what, if I were, I would have room, craft room envy. Amazing. And so organized, just as I imagined you would be. Um, and Sharon pulled out her baskets of punches and I know that Sharon has the most incredible punches because I've seen her use them in her journals and I'll tell you what her baskets did not disappoint I had um, punch basket envy if I were to be envious but I'm not but I thought oh I'd like some of those so I'm going to slowly search and find more Sharon you have enabled me just consider myself enabled by Sharon in the best way so now I've punched that and I love it and that idea came again came from Sharon because she is my border punching queen I just love everything that she does and so that's where this idea came from and I will I won't say it every single time because I probably forget but I do like to remind everyone where I got ideas from because I feel like that's one of my things is I, I don't like to take credit for something that wasn't my idea. So, of course, punching borders is done. It's a universal thing. But that's the person where I saw it. Oh, isn't that pretty? Thank you, Sharon, for teaching us that. Well, not teaching, but I saw it in your journal. And I think that is so pretty. This I'm going to fold up, actually. Because it's a thinner paper, it's a thinner end paper, I'm just going to fold that up there and glue it. And I think I may trim this little bit off so I'm not covering the pretty punched bit. I, I, you know, I'll just cut it in a bodgy way. I won't be precise or anything. There. And I'll just fold that up there and that's nice and, and strong. And then I'm going to put something over there. But that you get the idea as to how then you have these nice big pages. Look nice big pages and that has to come off to fit in the journal i do need to get maybe get some more book pages like and still joined book pages i need to find them so let's see this one i wanted i might not do this one i wanted to find one where um i might keep the fold as a pocket so i'll do this one after how lucky that that page is the right height let me see. Oh, why don't I do this one? This is going to be a pocket. I'm not even going to reinforce it because this paper is quite strong. So what I need is my Tombow glue. You don't need anything stronger than the Tombow glue. You could use your Fabri-Tac if you want to because you want it to dry really fast, but this will be just fine. Just run my glue around the three edges. I've already lined it up. And I've just flipped it out so I can see. And you just glue it down. And there I've got a side tuck. And then I'll put like a belly band thing across. Once I've got, you know, put it in the journal, I'll have a belly band across. That will um, um, get your words out, Rachel. Hold things in because that they'll just slide out if you don't. And that's going to be a pocket. And then I will, I'm just going to fold this up for the moment and I'll decide if I want yet another one of those pockets. I probably don't. I, I might prefer to fold that in and have a flip. I think I do. So I think I will take that off and I will just simply do that with my ruler. If I can find it. Here it is. So I just wanted to give you some examples. Of how that these are going to be done and then I will what I will oh, it's got a bit of glue there I think I have to use my scissors um, and then I will put it all together off camera because you've just seen me do the other one and it's going to be done the same way um, but at least you'll see
see how to approach when you need bigger pages and that one I'm going to fold in it's very a bit wet there because I use wet glue so I'm going to leave that one open now this one here I just wanted to address this one um, what I'm going to do is glue that on there so I don't want to have glue here so what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of glue along here I might put plenty of glue along there, I should say, because we don't want it to come off. Okay. And then here, what I'm going to do is just, because I, I can't tell how far to go there, this is my edge that's gonna go on that side here. So what I do is just run some wet glue along here so there's no gaping bits and we know that it's really glued down and there oops that's a bit crooked straighten it up and there we go that is glued on there and then i'll just open it up so you don't have to always put your page here and put your glue on that side and glue it down like that if you if you don't want to cover it up you can glue it up on top and I may come in here with a little bit of washi tape too just to make sure that that's all all right but there we go look at that how good was that and that's it's lovely sick I'm going to start using these guys 1600s that one I've got another one that will have the date but that one I had to that's how much I had to tear off this was a big book like this and that's all that's left because it was so eaten by the worms it was like lace like really lacy lace okay so I hope that helps you we've got a few examples here done of the but not those where did I put them oh I put them in the book this one this one's got the pocket and I did mention I'm going to put a belly band, so I'll probably grab a, um, like that would not, well, it would be okay, but it wouldn't be strong enough. So I would reinforce, actually, I'm going to keep that there because I would like that. That's going to be my belly band. Um, I may reinforce it a little bit, but it's very strong rag paper. Actually, now I'm having a thought, guys. This is going to wrap around. It's going to be, a, oh, no, that's going to flip out. Wrap around would have been nice, but anyway. So yeah, that's going to be my belly band. I'm just going to keep that with it. Um, we've got one that we glued on the top instead of underneath here um, because I didn't want to cover it. Just a few different examples. We've got one here that I did the punching. Isn't that pretty? And I'll do quite a few of those, but with different punches. And that's just going to glue down just to reinforce. And I think I may have to trim this one down. So I think I may fold that in as well just to reinforce the edges of this very delicate 1922 paper because it's of the more fragile type of paper even though it's newer. And then this one was a normal glue down um, but I did fold that over there because I don't want to cut it off. And this also flips down. I cut that out so I don't have any issues with the folding. And that's because I don't want to lose that. But what will happen here is I'll attach something so you can pull it out and gain some more writing space. So they're the different examples of how I'm going to approach hinging my pages. And it allows you, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, to use larger format books. And I haven't made a larger format book for quite a while. I tend to put them, the covers in kits when, you know, like for art journals, but they are also very nice to make a big journal. And the way you do that is by using maybe more the vertical document pages um, for the document style journals. I may trim that. I might just actually glue that in so I don't get the dog's ears. Um, and then you can have the bigger pages, much bigger pages. So this is going to be a lovely, lovely journal. Obviously a few less pages than the other ones. But I'm going to leave that open because that's sticky. Um, just because it's um, got a smaller spine, but equally as lovely. So that's my video for today. I hope you have a wonderful Thursday. I've been a good girl doing lots of videos while I'm on holidays, but I feel inspired. And, um, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.